Hi, my name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at something you're not gonna find anywhere else. This is a 2012 Dodge Durango all-wheel drive special service vehicle. Uh, this particular one was built by Dodge and used as promotional purposes uh, to showcase some of the state-of-the-art police technologies back in 2012. Uh, this one still has all the equipment inside and out on it, which you don't find on discontinued service vehicles. Uh, this one was never used as an enforcement vehicle. Though. So this one was only used for promotional purposes to showcase these items. All right, guys, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button. If you click the bell icon, it'll notify you every time our new videos get posted. You don't wanna miss out. We got a lot of killer cars coming in and out of this place uh, every single week. We're pumping out tons of inventory to show you guys some of the best cars in the world. Uh, so if you wanna see more like this, make sure you subscribe. For the full photo shoot and write-up description, guys, you can visit volocars.com. There you can study the specs. Uh, you can take a look at our in-depth photo shoots, the close-up shots, inside, outside, uh, underneath the engine bay, whatever you want. It's on volocars.com. We have a couple hundred, both modern muscle and classic cars. They're all for sale. You don't want to miss out. Check out the site. It's highly addicting. Volocars.com. All right, guys, let's get into it. Uh, so this special service vehicle has so much on it that I'm going to try my best to go through everything. I have an options list. We have a whole binder documenting the car and all the options on it. What was ordered on it from the factory. Uh, this vehicle has only 31,386 original miles on it. Uh, it was driven from promotional events across the country. That's where the miles come into play. Again, this was used by Dodge to sell uh, their vehicle and the products that go on it to police enforcement. Uh, the paint is finished in a brilliant black crystal pearl. Uh, it's in excellent condition around the vehicle. Uh, there's no real major blemishes anywhere that I saw. Uh, it has all the special service graphics on it. Uh, it does have, to be street legal, it has all the reflective out of service uh, decals across it so that when you are driving it it clearly states it's out of service it's not a police vehicle uh, depending on your state you may or may not have to put some sort of cover on the lights uh, I believe in Wisconsin and Illinois it is legal for us to have it uncovered uh, we did add magnetic Volo Auto Museum security badges just for fun around the museum here those are removable and we have the original Dodge Law ones in the trunk of the car uh, the special service vehicles came with additional options from the factory that you couldn't order as a regular customer, uh, and that's going to include a skid plate. Uh, so for the front, it's a heavy-duty skid plate underneath. Uh, it also has the trailer tow group 4 on it, so the, the bigger tow package that was not available as a regular consumer. Uh, this also has a upgraded 230 millimeter rear axle in it, a heavy duty engine oil cooler, a heavy duty trans cooler. It has the full front suspension skid plate as well as the underbody. Uh, all the springs are upgraded to heavy duty. Uh, it has a 345 rear axle ratio in it as well. Uh, two speed on demand transfer case with the bigger option 5.7 V8 Hemi engine. Uh, so a lot of stuff that was added specifically uh, so that you could you know, use this in law enforcement and if you had to go off-roading, you weren't gonna get stuck. <clears throat> Moving on to all the police equipment on it, uh, we have the state-of-the-art technology for 2012. So this has the uh, LED light bars on top. This is a Whalen Engineering Company with their low profile mounts. Uh, all the antennas and stuff, that's for the CB radio, uh, also the police scanner and the GPS navigation. Uh, this thing's equipped with an infrared heated rear camera. So at all times, the mirror in the back will demonstrate it later. It shows the LCD screen on the rear view mirror. 
so you can always see what's behind you. It also has a backup, ca backup camera as well. Uh, there's the GPS monitored front camera with the interchangeable SSD cards in it. We have the Unity Spotlight on it, uh, as well as this massive Satina uh, front bumper guard. These are the heaviest duty, uh, best in the game front bumper guards that they make. So you can't just go and buy this as a consumer. This is for police use only. Uh, all the outside LED lights work. They have strobes on them, they flash. There's controllers on the inside. You can change the different sequences on them, how fast they, uh, they move and what pattern they flash at. Uh, this has, let's see what else. We have the standard Dodge uh, Hyper Silver aluminum wheels. They're wrapped in a heavy duty Goodyear uh, winter tires all the way around them. They're in excellent condition, plenty of tread left on them. So this thing is absolutely loaded. Uh, with tons of options. This thing's super fun. You could take it to a car show and show it off. Uh, you can't use the, legally, you cannot use the lights and the sirens on the roads, but if you're on private par property or pulled over for an event, uh, you can go ahead and display that stuff. Let's take a look inside. There's a ton more to talk about. All right, guys, coming into the interior, uh, it's very, very clean still, still shows like new. Obviously, as you can see, it is loaded with a bunch of technology in here and you're probably wondering just like I am what everything does. I am gonna do my best to describe it. We'll go through it. Uh, this is the full power interior. It has AM FM satellite radio, uh, dual climate control as well. You have your toll haul option as well as your traction control. Get into that, that's the navigation screen. It is touch screen. Uh, up top, you have your radar detector. Uh, we do have a certification in here showing that it was refurb refurbished to meet original manufacturer expectations. Uh, they have the tuning forks under the actual radar on this side. So you can tune it. Tunes in at uh, 35 miles an hour and 65 miles an hour with the forks. You have your spotlight as well. Uh, in the center here, so along with the Whalen uh, lights, you have your Suncom siren and switch box. So that's what this does. This controls the strobes, the different flashing. Uh, you have your different sirens as well on here. We'll demonstrate this stuff outside because it is super bright and loud. Uh, we'll have some fun with it later. You have your Uniden uh, CB radio as well. So you have two different intercoms down here. One is for your front speakers uh, that you would tell someone to pull over. The other one is the actual CB radio, uh, and that's what these two different boxes are for. We also have the BCD HP scanner with GPS. It has Wi-Fi, it's a unit in, uh, the mounting bracket, as well as the Garmin Street Pilot navigation system. Now, all the antennas on top, again, are mounted specifically for these items. Here's that infrared uh, rear view camera that I was talking about. So I'm gonna go stand behind it. So that's on all the time, not just when you have it in reverse. As you can see, uh, it is also heated. So it's never gonna fog up or freeze, uh, even in the cold winter times. So this thing was absolutely equipped to protect police officers all the time. State of the art technology. Uh, as far as the condition, guys, it has nice weather tech floor mats in it. The carpet's still nice. The seats are unworn. Uh, very nice condition. Even the rear seats, no one's ever sat back here, I'm sure, except for, you know, maybe promotional purposes. So very, very clean inside and out. Center armrest, typical standard Durango features. Uh, the seats do fold down, however, it does have the rear grill guard in place. So can't really, uh, if, unless you take this out and you want to store more stuff in there, that's fine. Moving on to the trunk area. Moving on to the trunk area, guys. Let's pop, pop the hatch with the latch. Uh, there is also a manual key. 
that you can open it. Uh, that's one of the safety features they put in. Uh, this has a Go Rhino cargo box. So this is built specifically for this, uh, for the promotional use. Uh, we have some mounting brackets, the rear tow harness for the lights. Uh, we have some instruction manuals and all the paperwork on what's been added and serviced as far as the police equipment. Uh, we have the original magnetic Dodge Law Enforcement magnets. Same with the 911s. Again, uh, you guys cannot put this on while you're driving it, uh, but once you're parked on property, you can install these back on it. So it has to display the not in service badging on the outside to legally drive this. Uh, but again, everything's in really nice shape. Uh, this does have a full size spare tire uh, that was optioned with it as well. So very nice condition inside and out. Then you have your rear external antennas. Again, everything is installed and in working condition. Under the hood is the optioned 5.7 V8 Hemi, so they want the bigger engine in these, obviously, for more horsepower to help you keep up with a speeding pedestrians. Uh, again, very nice condition inside and out. Everything's very clean. It's all been serviced regularly uh, when needed, so very nice shape inside and out. Sometimes the test drives around here get a little rowdy. You get the uh, the classics, the Chevelles, the Camaros, and they uh, they just opened up a new modern muscle exhibit. So you get a lot of those, like the Challengers, Chargers. But I've kind of talked to all of them. They seem to understand not to get too crazy. Guys, I love these SRTA Challengers. They're just very comfy. Uh, it's got all the right options in it. Heated seats, navigation, six speed. These 6.1 Hemis only came in a couple years. They're definitely a great engine. Let's see what this thing has. sound very peaceful either. Caleb, every time. Let's get him. guys that was my impression on our 2012 Dodge Durango special service vehicle again 31,386 original miles on it uh, it's in fantastic condition inside and out still absolutely filled to the brim with all the special service technology so again typically when they sell uh, used police vehicles they strip everything out of them so you don't have any of these cool gadgets uh, so this is a really awesome conversation piece if you guys want to purchase it just to throw in your collection or use as a promotional purpose for your business this would definitely stand out uh, it's definitely unique one of a kind you're not going to find another one like this so if you are interested in purchasing it you can visit volocars.com there you can click the buy it now button it'll secure a deposit on this car uh, we can also set up financing and shipping it'll email us uh, we can do it all remotely or you can call us ask for me caleb i'd be more than happy to go over the vehicle some more with you and we can set up financing and shipping that way as well uh, it's super easy you can get this delivered right to your driveway 
have it backing out of the truck with the lights on flashing. You're going to daze all the, all the neighbors and they're going to be in awe. Uh, but yeah, check it out, bolocars.com. Thanks for checking out the video.